Indian single ball sales overtook multinational giants for the first time in 2023. Domestic brands accounted for 53% of total sales of 6,75,000 cases. Indian single malt whiskies grew 23% in 2023, while foreign brands managed on 11% growth. Indian single malts have also been winning prestigious awards. Several new players have now entered the category, including multinationals with their own Indian single malts. The Indian single malt story was started by Amrut Distilleries exactly 20 years ago. Amrut launched its first single malt in the UK in 2004. Two decades ago, very few countries made single malts. Indian whiskey was perceived to be cheap and harsh, and the going was tough for Amrut. Its sales barely amounted to £20,000 in 2007. But the Amrit Fusion turned the tide in 2009. The Fusion is made from a combination of Scottish and Indian barley. In 2010, the Fusion was voted world's third best by influential whisky critic Jim Murray. Murray gave the whisky 97 out of 100 in his annual whisky bite. The Fusion had broken stereotypes. There was no looking back. Today, Amrit makes 45 expressions of single malt, but the Fusion is still its top performer. It has sold 3 million cases in 57 countries since 2004. Amrit has since been followed by more companies. Each of these whiskies is highly rated by connoisseurs. Whiskey in India ages a lot faster, giving rise to a tropical, distinct flavor profile. Indian single malt whiskies are now exported over 60 countries across the world. Today, you have 35 variants of Indian single roll whiskies on the shelves, and there are yet more joining in. In December 2023, South Seas Distilleries launched Crazy Cock Ray and Dhua. Experts see at least four more new single malts joining the party this year. Distilleries are expanding capacities to meet domestic and foreign demand. Consumption of Indian single malts is set to grow 13% annually until 2027. We've seen an increase in proliferation of the Indian single malts in the last couple of years, uh, both from mid-sized Indian companies as well as the multinationals now entering the fray with both Diageo and Panorica most recently launching their, their single malts. I think in the coming year, we'll see at least four more single malts enter, the, enter this, uh, this fast-growing arena and the number may well touch uh, 20, I would say, but 2025 if I'm not being too unduly optimistic. From an innovation perspective, I definitely would see more and more companies planning to use different kinds of casts to mature as well as finish their whiskies in the coming year. Last year, in order to protect the category of the future, the FSS's AI issued new definitions for Indian single malt whiskey. These came into effect on March 1, 2024.